Hi, everybody. Welcome back. It's the end of the fest today. We're kind of sad. Amore's sad. Julianne's here with us today. We're, we're all going to say goodbye for this year's 2020 virtual fest, but we've had a blast, haven't you, Julianne? Oh, man, it's been so much fun. I didn't know if the virtual thing would really work, but in some ways, I think you're right. As we've talked about it before, it's been it's been a real positive and something to look forward to. So it's been good. Right. right. And we've done over 90 interviews that, uh, that are up on um, our website uh, in the pop-up gallery. Oh. And they're going to stay up in the website on the pop-up gallery for, for as long as the website's up. So we'll add every year, we'll add a new 2021 virtual part of it because the virtual part, I think we've all decided is so good for the festival, will stay part of the fest from now on. That's so, great, yeah. yeah. And we talk about even our local Camden Festival um, tour stop for the spring. As we've started planning for that, I think a lot of stuff is gonna have to stay virtual anyway. So I think that's a wise move. But it's fun. People can watch the films and we are doing um, a festival or a Winnie Fest, a little short one next week, next weekend at um, the Western States Horse Expo in California. They're having to go virtually now. So there'll be some Equus Films screening there that people will be able to watch in the virtual realm. So yeah. it's kind of fun. We had a fun Winnie, Winnie Fest last, um, or Winnie Award ceremony last weekend, didn't we? Yes, we did. That was too cool. It was neat to see all the things that people won. I mean, you, that's, that was an exciting event. And although we couldn't all be sitting together, it was neat to see everybody. Diana kicked it off really well. And, and then everybody doing their different awards. Um, well, and you and Bruce did a great job. It was fun. <laughs> Bruce. It's Thank fun you. to see everybody kind of together, the partners and that and Carly and her husband. It To me, that just makes it more of a inclusive, fun kind of horse family event because yeah. now both 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 partners ride. So <laughs> that's right. Bruce is both, always yeah. riding, so that's, that's his thing. But um, we had I milk did, here, no, so we exactly. added some more and some more men into the mix. That's into the herd, into the herd. So yeah. Bruce has it's been growing. Glad to in. <laughs> it's been fun though. It's been yeah. fun. And the, has. this year, the films, people are talking about the films. We had a big audience from Israel, which I thought was really cool. Mm -hmm. So um, watching the, the film Unbridled. So very yeah. cool. Well, I've really enjoyed speaking with the authors, getting to know them. Um, the children's books, I've always just loved the children's books and our nonprofit, The Marley Project, that's what we're all about and providing that that type of literature when, when it's needed. And so having that chance to speak to the authors about their creative process and everything else, it's been it's been fun. So it's it'll be neat to see how many of them have another. Uh, so many people are working on new things. And so I know the filmmakers are probably the same way. Um, it'll be neat to see what comes in next year that might be part of a, a series that we've already been introduced to or screenplays coming from some of the novels. That, that'll be a nice addition. Well, I just finished working on a, I guess you'd call it a, an animated kind of bring, bring the books to life um, storyboard for Susan Abel, who her books are, she has, she wasn't in this year because all of her trilogy has been in the past three years, right. but she'll be, I'm sure coming in with another book, but we, we put together a beautiful little short kind of two and a half minute long piece that'll be up on, on the website as well with hers, but kind of another, this is another thing we can do with Equus with our, all of the people that are here, we can help filmmakers and author or authors and podcasters put together storyboards, visual storyboards. So that'll be premiering hopefully this week. Well, the collaboration between all of the people involved has always been a big thing to me. I, you know, I've said before watching people like Cody Bundy and Charles Perry who knew each other before they even came, but the things that they've continued to do together and other people who connect at the festival, it's been pretty exciting. And so I've noticed also people like Susan who still continue to social media Push Festival and other authors and Carly has always done the same thing with her equestrian authors podcast and it's just great to see the support that comes with being part of this herd. This well Cody and Charles also 
became friends with Sue or Karen Saylor, and they ended up in Europe last year with her and her film. And Car Charles' documentary got screened there. So you, you just and your documentary got screened in France. So you never know where, or what, and yeah. Well, I, we, we're talking, James O'Connor is our filmmaker for Bruce's film, The Edge, and we're talking to him about new new content and, and adjustments and things like that. So it's always growing, always building. So it's it's good stuff. Always progress. Yeah. But in the, and then you and Diana offer really nice services for the authors and the, the filmmakers. And I think the well, the podcasters are super great, but I think the service that you guys offer after the event is that, really exciting. yeah we diana and i talked about it. we're going to reach out this next week or or the following and um give the package out again and just see who might be interested but that that is going to be a really nice way of following up continuing to promote each other's work continuing to pro promote i think people have to learn how to promote their own work to a different type of audience maybe for like for the authors especially if you're used to traveling on the book tours or whatever this is sort of different but um it's just a way of keeping your name out there, keeping the work out there and supporting each other. Because when we do support each other, it grows exponentially. I mean, it's it's pretty important. It's pretty important. Right. right. Well, and again, the doing things like the f turning your book into a short little storyboard that can go onto YouTube and then you can reach that audience. So um, and then what we've got to offer our authors with going on to Equishopper that we didn't have until this past year. That's a that's a really big deal for for a lot of the self-published authors to be able to get their books into a bookstore right there alongside of a Trafalgar Square book or a, a really, you know, a, a traditionally published book. For our self-published authors to be side by side, that's that's really great. So Equishopper and Horse Network have offered really ni a nice addition to the what our kind of our our family of options and and things that we can offer be that and the film channel for the filmmakers i mean it just goes on all year long so mm -hmm. people will be able to sign up and subscribe to the equus film channel now and watch some of the films that, that they maybe missed while they were on you know while the festival was going on so the film channel is going we've got the podcast going we've got equus shopper and horse network doing articles on the film so and the books and highlighting everybody. So it's really kind of fun how things have grown into a bigger, much bigger. Well, and what I love too that you did this year, the Encore films, we were, Bruce and I were thrilled to be included in that part of it, but to choose, you know, 20, 10 to a dozen films that have a cultural relevance or, you know, are environmental for us and, and all those other things. Um, you've, you had an international group of films that speak to so many, to, to women's issues, to just all kinds of stuff. And so those films are on the film channel, most of them already. And like you said, with the podcast, I'm looking forward to being able to take those web chats because the web chats were um, a, a lot, <laughs> not overwhelming, but there were a lot of them. And so from Diana and Lisa DeMacy and, and myself um, putting the work into those, now we've got those introductions to people. We'll definitely include those on the podcast and be able to, you know, ha be able to look back and see. So if you've read somebody's book and you want to know a little bit about their backstory, that'll be a nice way to do that. So you just got a lot of content up there. The website is growing, growing, growing. Got a well, lot of stuff. The, I'm going to be switching out what, what our, the plan is for the website is that there's three little boxes at the top. Um, there's a highlight films of that were the short films that were entered a taste of the fest. And then we have the interviews of the authors and the interviews of the filmmakers. So we'll be rotating those out every couple of days. So new filmmakers and new authors will be highlighted on that pop-up gallery page that's going to stay live. And then down at the bottom, we'll be putting in all of the links to purchase all of the books mm. and links to where you can see the films on every every piece of content that's been into the festival this year. So once the festival's over, then everything will kind of take place and that will be available and people can always search there to find book where they can get the books or where they can watch the films or where they can listen to the podcast. 
Well, so I have to ask then for, for those of us who are the tour stop organizers, or if somebody wants to do a Winnie, um, Winnie mm -hmm. stop or a Winnie event, what do they need to expect for the coming year? What will be happening with all of that? And how are you going to handle all it planning toward next year? Well, we're going to, we're definitely going to keep doing the virtual. So one of the things we're going to do is as films come in and we decide if they're going to be in the fest because we get films that aren't in the fest in, but as they decide, we're going to get the interview process going early. So we're not always trying to cram it into the month prior and everybody will be a little bit breathing just a little bit easier with <laughs> 90 some odd films together and getting them all loaded up and compressed was like oh, just oh. enough. But we'll get all of that ahead of time and then we'll work on, um, you know, expanding the reach a little bit more. There's just so many fun things that we can do now that the, you know, the website stays live and we can do so much on Facebook um, with our Winnie Tour stops. So many of those are virtual now for the different Fundra for the different groups, the, the fundraising groups. So we'll continue on doing that with um, the Winnie Tour stops, just like we're going to do with the uh, Western States Horse Expo next weekend. So they, they, they've really set up a cool thing. They're going to have like virtual storefronts where everybody who's used to seeing those vendors at the show every year, mm -hmm. all of those Vendors will be lined up in the storefronts and they'll have the special, the same specials that they have available for, for people visiting and that you can go to the Winnie, to the Winnie tour stop and you can watch the film. And the nice thing is you can do it 24 seven while the event's going on and they'll still have live events with their clinicians. So that's kind of what we want to evolve into for next year is a few more live events during the, during the festival, um, Maybe if we are highlighting a clinician, we'll have a live clinician demo. You know, maybe we'll get Bruce to do a live demo while we're the event is running that can feed into our Facebook page. But I think for the first year with doing our virtual event, I think we did a pretty good job as a team. Everybody oh. pulling together and making it work. I'm, yeah. I'm wholly proud of all of the people of you and Diana and. Carly and Candace and Milt and Julie. Uh, it, it, it's just, Elisa DeMay DeMasi didn't have any idea what she was getting into this year. <laughs> I don't think she did, but she did. She did a but wonderful she's job. Good job. She's like so. already on board for next year. So yeah. glad to have her on the team. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Me, so. Diana have done this for so long and have so many things in place already. Um, you know, it was a it was a stretch to do some of the changeover to virtual, but but I think it worked. I really, and I'm looking forward. We've already heard here in Camden that the Carolina Cup, which our bit is our big signature event, we're the steeplechase capital of the world. So I've already heard that that has moved from March to the end of May. So we know that those things that are still going to take place live are shifting around a little bit. And so um, I'll be talking to you about scheduling and figuring out how, how we're going to do the festival because we do try to tie in with that in some way. So, so um, it'll be fun to see how we can do virtual and a couple of things live and in person too. So that'll be great. No, it's, I think we've done it. I think we just kind of kicked butt a little bit, you know, got, we got out of our corral and, and did it. So, and we already have books and we already have films that are on, you know, on the table waiting to come in for next year. So, um, so people, what would you say to the people who are planning for next year? Maybe they didn't submit for this year. What should they do to prepare and, and to be ready for you? Get, get everything ready. Even if it's a, the trailer of an upcoming film, as you know, it, it's always good. We had two trailers this year that were really excellent trailers and excellent interviews with the, with the filmmakers and, you know, get in, get, start building your audience, start connecting with people. I think people like to connect this way with, with their authors and with their artists and with their filmmakers. You know, it takes, it, it, it makes it feel more personal. And every one of these horse stories and films and books and pieces of artwork is a deeply personal mm -hmm. project for, for the person doing it, as we've learned now with every one of these interviews. And that's something that was missing 
you know, we would have the panels in that at the festival, but I would never get to watch them because I was always running from here to there and everywhere. And, mm -hmm. you know, you'd get to see the ones that you were hosting. This year, I got to see every panel and I got to listen to every filmmaker and I got to, to listen to every author and hear those stories behind the work. And mm -hmm. I, yeah, even the artist, oh my gosh, everybody's story was so interesting. And they were just short. I mean, you get to learn so much and, uh, you know, find out the time. Yeah. So well, good. I think that was really, really important for the festival this year. I think it's been a wonderful event. And I really look forward to seeing how things develop within the next year and how things go for next year's fest. Yeah. Yeah. We're excited. Amore says bye. So Amore says, come back. <laughs> year watch us all year yeah. hang out with us all all year long cool very and cool thank you yeah. again for all of your amazing work oh my gosh we couldn't do it we couldn't do it without the herd and the team and the sponsors and the filmmakers and the artists and the authors and the podcasters now we couldn't do it without it with everybody well i think on behalf of everybody i'm going to say a huge thank you to you because I know people know, but they might not know exactly how much work goes into this and they don't know what, how much you've already done and are doing all the time. So um, special thanks to you for everything that you do. Special thanks to Diana who couldn't be here today. Um, and, and uh, you know, I echo it to the rest of the team too, but mainly to you. So well, thank and you. A, and a super big thank you goes out to Benjamin and his team with Film Festival Flicks because without them, our virtual event would not, would no. only be the website. It wouldn't be, you know, the films where people from all over the world could watch and mm -hmm. now can continue to watch. So <laughs> what a great team with Film Festival Flicks. So thank you, Benji. Definitely. Thanks to Benji. And I guess we will look forward to seeing you again throughout the year, but especially seeing you again next year. See you in 2020. That's a wrap. Pony on, everybody. <laughs> Pony on. Pony on. Keep your mask on. Wear your mask and pony on. Stay safe and pony on. I sign off on all of my emails that way. That's what we need to do this year. Stay safe and pony on and we'll see you in 2021.